Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a haul from Second and Spruce. This is the February 2024 pre-order, which is from the One Collection in reference to Friends. Friends is my absolute favorite TV show of all time. So not only was I just super jazzed about a Second and Spruce pre-order, but I was so excited that a lot of these blends were Friends themed and it was a whole friends collection because I just I love the show so much the references to this show just make me so happy Erica's wax makes me so happy I'm just I'm so excited to share with you guys this haul we're in my backyard today um, it is a really nice day out and Rip was running around out here so I thought why not let's just enjoy the outdoors enjoy the fresh air it's like 60 degrees so just cool enough to be out here but not too hot or anything like that um, or not too cold and thought let's just enjoy the outdoors i did really last minute do a first sniff live um when i got my order in i received the order on april 20th so it was the day of the teddy bees restock so I did the Teddy Bees restock and then maybe 30 minutes later this got delivered. It was quite a very fun wax filled afternoon and um, I was texting Natalie and Jason and Summer and Stephanie and I was like oh my gosh my stuff's here and anyway long story short I popped on and just did a first sniff live so I will link that above if you guys want to see my first sniff impression of everything. Um, if you want to see me scare the crap out of Riff accidentally, but today I wanted to go through and share with you guys the rest of the things. There's a couple items I didn't share um, that were in the box and then just take more time to smell everything. So the first thing that's in the box is an invoice. I absolutely love that. So I ordered this on February 17th and I got it on April 20th. So perfect eight week tat. Then she included this little, so cute, like lavender purple and white polka dot bag. I love her attention to detail. So in this is a espresso nut mix. So excited to snack on these. That was so sweet and generous. Thank you, Erica. And then there is her business card. So second and spruce owned by Erica and Slade Kane the next pre-order is going to be the May 10th opening so make sure you stay tuned um, and get get your hands on some stuff for that one and then this was so much fun she included a sticker that said get a cake bite so the live that some of the ladies here on YouTube did right before um, this opening <laughs> i'm not sure who said it but the common theme was if you don't know if you like a scent get a cake bite because it was the smallest of the offerings and so the thought is you're not buying too much wax but you're getting a chance to try it without overly investing into um, a larger size so get a cake bite get a cake bite so when i opened the package and there was a little get a cake bite sticker i thought that was just so cute and I have a second and spruce tumbler. I would bring it out here, but I drank iced coffee out of it yesterday. So <laughs> it's currently dirty. Um, but I think I might put this sticker on that tumbler because it kind of goes with the second and spruce theme, but thought that was such a cute addition. And I know you guys can hear the birds and stuff a lot. I hope that it's not too loud, um, but just, yeah, I thought it would be a nice change of scenery and that way I can enjoy some time outside too. I'm gonna get the least exciting thing out of the way. I bought a bunch of bags. She offered like five of these for a dollar. I can't remember what the size is, but they'll fit, um, I can bag a tub. I can double bag one of these mini loaves. Um, so I really just got these to, um, to double bag things. So I might actually try to double bag as we go here, just to save some time, we'll see. 
let's start with the samples. She sent two samples in these little shot cups. Very, very generous size samples. And her stuff throws so stinking well. I mean, I'll probably cut this into at least three, if not four. And this could do like my open concept. I'm not even exaggerating. That's how strong her wax is. Erica, if you're watching, please don't ever change a thing. What you're doing is is working perfectly. So this one is Where There's Smoke and Palo Santo. So this is by the fireplace, Mala Fireside, Smoked Vanilla, Sugar Cookie, and Palo Santo. Love all those notes. I've been obsessed with By the Fireplace recently. Yeah, this is so good. You definitely get that By the Fireplace perfume, cologne type oil, plus with the, um, that like woodsy Palo, I'm going to need this in a larger size <laughs> for sure. This was, this is so, so good. And then I got a sample of Surf's Up. This one is Sea Breeze, Cedar, Vetiver, Moss, Musk, Amber, and Vanilla. Mm. And this one's just, it's a fresh, aquatic, kind of masculine cologne scent in a way. Perfect for this time of year, very spring, summer forward. Good in a bathroom, just a nice aquatic scent. So love those. Thank you so much, Erica, for very, very gener generous samples. Um... Maybe let's do the one cake bite I have first. So I went a lot with tubs and the mini loaves, but she also offered the cake bite, like I said. So if you ordered a cake bite, it comes in this packaging. So the cake bite is wrapped in this um, like tissue paper and then also in a bag. So I'll take it out to show you. But this one is I Love Fonzie. This one is Tobacco, Palo Santo, Smoky Embers, and Smoked Vanilla. I got this in a cake bite because I wasn't super sure about tobacco. I'm hit and miss with tobacco. It just, it just depends on the oil. But look at how cute this is. And wait until you see the size of this. This is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It really about the palm of my hand. Isn't that stunning? Like much larger than I anticipated. Yeah, this is, this is really, really pretty. I probably could have gotten a bigger size of it, but honestly her wax throws so well that a cake bite will be enough. But I really get the tobacco and I'm really getting that smoked vanilla. This is so good, you guys. And again, good size. I like how it's kind of wrapped in the tissue paper as well. Just an extra layer of protection, an extra amount of detail that she doesn't have to do, but it is just so sweet and appreciated. I, I love that so much. Okay, so now let's move on to the tubs. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but some of them are definitely duplicates. So the first one that I picked up was Holiday Armadillo. And let me say her tubs, I like these so much better than the other tubs that she had. These are much more sturdy and this literally, it slips out like butter. Look how clean those come. I just, I'm obsessed with this <laughs> tub packaging. So Holiday Armadillo is roasted pine cone, Palo Santo, Malo Fireside, Smoked Vanilla, and Sugar Cookies. I love anything. Roasted Pine Cone is one of my favorite notes. And this is so good. You really get the Roasted Pine Cone. I get this like smoky, sweet scent. Whether that's the Marshmallow Fireside or whether that's the Smoked Vanilla. But a smoky, sweet scent. And then that Bakery Sugar Cookie. This is <laughs> so good. Um, I definitely don't melt too much roasted pine cone in like the spring summer, but this will definitely be making an appearance during fall and winter. This next one I got two of because I just couldn't, 
I couldn't get one. Two of Wasting Away in What the Melon Readaville. So Jimmy Buffett play on words. Um, but I've heard a lot about her What's the Melon Rita scent, which is muddled watermelon, lime margarita, and sugar. And then this one has the addition of key lime pie. So just this cocktail type of really summery scent is what I get from it. So since the What the Melon Rita is such a popular fragrance, I knew I wanted to get it, like get two of them. Look at this packaging, you guys. Look at that glitter. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Just the layers of the pink, the green, this is so good. You definitely have to like watermelon and like lime um, type of scents, but this smells to me like a cocktail that you would make in the summer when you're on the beach. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's kind of citrusy and tangy. I'm really glad that I got two of these because this is just a perfect summertime scent. The hype on this one was real. And I know this combination was a new blend, but the What the Melon Rita is not. And that's a good one, you guys. I hope that you picked that one up. Next one that I got two of is one that just, as soon as I saw it, just screamed my name. That is Cola Pop. So I love Coca-Cola soda scents, not Cherry Coke, just Coke. Um, and I particularly love them mixed with like zucchini bread or bakery notes. I think that is such a good combination, like a bakery Coca-Cola. So this one is cola, vanilla cake pops, cake batter ice cream, and waffle cone. I knew I had to have this one and so I got two. Cola is not super unique or anything, but I don't feel like a ton of vendors do it um, or they don't have very many cola scents. So I was so excited to see a cola scent on the list. And this really is like a cola ice cream float. Like you've got your glass, it's really frosty. You put in your vanilla ice cream and then you opened up a can of Coca-Cola and poured it on top. You get the vanilla, the creaminess, the bakeriness, um, and then you get that just like straight up Coca-Cola. Slightly fizzy, not too fizzy. I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> Love that so much. Then the last one that I got two of is another one that really screamed my name and that is Richard's Mustache. So the notes on Richard's Mustache have changed a little bit since um, purchasing. This originally had pistachio in it and something about the way that it was coming together on warm she didn't care for. So she took the pistachio out, but this is shaving cream, mallow fireside, toasted mallow, and salty Sierra. Salty Sierra and shaving cream and marshmallow fireside are like my top favorite scents ever. So I knew that this was, this was one I was going to uh, be obsessed with. So that's why I bought two. I should show you. So I'm definitely getting the Marshmallow Fireside. It is very strong on the Marshmallow Fireside. But now I can pick up more of the Salty Sea Air. When I did my first sniffs, which was just a couple days ago, but I had just taken them out of the box. I was moving kind of quick. I didn't want to be on live forever, but thought it'd be fun to jump in and just do a quick first sniff. But now I'm picking up more of the Salty Sea Air that I was not picking up then. Yeah, this, I'm definitely getting salty marshmallow fireside. Like, this almost reminds me of Bonfire Beach from Scentsy right now, where it's just that hint of the saltiness, but you get a lot of the toasted marshmallow. That's what I'm getting so far from this. Still not picking up on shaving cream. Does this have a pour date? This was poured March 24th. Um... So definitely we'll give this time to the cure a little bit more and develop, even though honestly, you guys, I feel like I could pop any of these into my warmers right this second and get a good performance from them. But that one smells great. 
I got, I know, raspberry jam, vanilla cream, cake, and buttercream. Seemed like a, a basic scent, <laughs> but in like the best way. Her raspberry oil is a second to none. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And this one has layered colors as well. I'm actually melting a raspberry jam and like French toast scent from her in my kitchen currently. It smells so good. Her raspberry is just amazing. So you really get the raspberry jam in this. And a hint of vanilla, just kind of creaminess. The raspberry jam definitely stands out, but I could see this being just so beautiful and warm. If you have yet to try her raspberry, I'm telling you, it is so good. It's so sweet. Such a pretty blend. And then the last tub that I got is in Brown Bag Lunch. Look at that label, you guys. And look at like just the Friends themed labels. Like everything is just amazing. So Brown Bag Lunch is, oh, I'm sorry. This is You Ate My Sandwich, <laughs> which is Brown Bag Lunch mixed with pretzel. And Brown Bag Lunch is raspberry jam, peanut butter, fresh baked bread. So it's raspberry jam, peanut butter, fresh baked bread, and pretzel. Sorry, this is You Ate My Sandwich. Or Ross's Thanksgiving day after sandwich was eaten. A very bakery heavy PB and J scent. Um, again, with this amazing raspberry jam. The pretzel just takes the bakery part of this up a notch. You know, some PB and J's are a little more perfumey, which I really enjoy actually. I enjoy the perfumey PB and J, but this one leans more on the, um, the bakery side. That is so, so pretty. Okay, so that's it for the tubs. Now I have mini loaves. So I've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mini loaves and a crying puppy. What is the matter? Okay, maybe I need to give him a second of attention. For the mini loaves, the first one is in Damn the Jellyfish. So this one is Summer Scoop, Kettle Corn, jelly donut and raspberry jam. I was a little bit nervous about this one because I'm not always the biggest fan of a summer scoop. The strawberry sometimes is kind of that, that fresh strawberry that just doesn't do well with me. That's what that one looks like. But this is so pretty. I get a really nice fruity scent. Definitely get the raspberry jam. And I get the kettle corn, but the way I described it in my live was that it was like you were at a fair where they had kettle corn, but you weren't standing next to the kettle corn, like machine or vendor. It was like down the ways, like maybe you could see it in the distance and smell the kettle corn in the air, but it wasn't so potent like you were standing next to it. This is so good. Really get like a donut scent too. This is gonna be so nice this summertime. I'm really excited for that one. That's gonna be so pretty in the summertime, like in open concept. So that one was Damn the Jellyfish. Next one is Mermaids in Montauk. This one is Rosemary Mint, Salty Sea Air, Toasted Mallow, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Some of my favorite nugs ever. Rosemary, rosemary mint just makes things kind of fresh as well and gives it a little more of an herbal scent to it. Look at this. Do you guys see that mermaid tail? This is so cute. I'm trying to kind of hold it because in the live that I did one of these mini souffles, it fell out of the tin when I held it up. So, and it's scared, scared rip. This is amazing. You really get the rosemary mint and the salty sea air. You also get vanilla too. So whether it's the vanilla bean Noel, you know, now that I'm saying it, I do think I get the vanilla bean Noel, like that kind of very sweet, really subtle hint of caramel. 
This is stunning. Such a pretty blend. This is going to be so amazing for the spring and summer. I mean, honestly, all of these are. I think the Holiday Armadillo was the only one that was super, like, fall, winter. So that was Mermaids and Montauk. Okay, this one was We Were on a Break. Key Lime, Lemon Curd, Pineapple Upside Down Cake, Coconut Shortbread, Graham Cracker Crust, and Vanilla. This was giving me like coconut crack, key lime pie type of vibes. And I thought for summertime, this just sounded amazing. That's what that one looks like. Oh, I'm really getting the pineapple this time around. Definitely get the key lime. I get that very bakery heavy pineapple and I get the coconut. This is like a coconut cocktail in a glass. This is so pretty. This is gonna be a powerhouse as well. Oh my gosh. You definitely have to like pineapple and coconut, but the lime is there, but it's not too tart. This is blended so well. Okay, I feel like I'm just making a mess out of, <laughs> out of these bags because I've taken them in and out so much. Maybe I won't take them like out of the bag. I think you guys can see maybe enough. We'll see. This one is I L O V E margaritas. <laughs> this is lime Rita, pineapple, coast, coconut milk, toasted coconut sugar, and salt water taffy. If you can see, there's a little lime down in the corner. Again, her attention to detail. This really smells like a lime arita. Like you've, if you've ever had a lime arita, this smells exactly like it. I don't know how she did that, but it's very, very sweet. Um, definitely get like a, a sugary type note, a lime coconut scent. But yeah, the lime arita is so interesting. It's very much a lime arita. That is so good. This one was kind of a wild card for me, but I was already placing quite a large order, so I just I just threw it in. This one is Peter. And so this is a carrot cake blend. Carrot cake, cream cheese frosting, butter pecan ice cream, a hint of cinnamon, and brown sugar drizzle. This one I was worried about only because I've had carrot cake in the past and it's been really, really spicy and I felt like not authentic to what a carrot cake is. I mean, carrot cake is spicy, but it also has a lot of cream cheese frosting and it's very sweet. And I just never found a carrot cake that I found to be super authentic until this one. I'm not kidding you guys. If I had a carrot cake in front of me and then I had this wax, I don't think I could tell the difference between them. You get the brown sugar, the cinnamon, those spices, but you really get that cream cheese frosting note. This is unbelievable. I am so glad I picked this up. Um, I want to save this till next Easter just because of the nature of the scent and the name, but it does feel kind of like a fall winter bakery blend. That is so good. That is the best carrot cake I have ever smelled. So. Bravo, Erica, that is amazing. Next is I Take The Rachel, and this is Candied Violets Wedding Cake and Buttercream. I picked this one up because I love violets, plus mixed with the bakery notes. I thought this sounded just phenomenal. And it is, it's sugary, sweet, floral violet, but you get the cake and the bakery notes with it. Definitely have to like violet, have to like floral a little bit to be able to appreciate this one, but I really love violet, so knew I was gonna love that one. She's your lobster. And I don't know if you can see the lobster is down in the corner of this. <laughs> Amazing. Beach Nights type cashmere cream, boom boom cream, and coconut milk. This is so good. To me, I really get the coconut milk and the cashmere, um, but 
this is blended so well. This is like a creamy summertime body care scent. It's pretty, that cashmere cream just kind of adds a perfuminess to this, but you have all the other like very summertime heavy notes. I really like the cashmere cream in this and that's surprising to me because I'm not a big cashmere person, but I think that note really does something to this blend. That is so, so good. Smelly Cat. Juicy Peach, Waffle Cone, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Birthday Cake. I really, really like peach. And this is a good peach. It's not super authentic to me. To me, it's very candied, like gummy ring, peach ring type of peach but it is very, very strong. <laughs> and then you get those bakery notes. I will say if you're hesitant with peach or sometimes peach is weird for you, I'm not thinking that this one is going to be for you. But if you like peach, if you don't get that cat urine type of smell, um, it's kind of funny that this one's called Smelly Cat because I feel like peach is a note that definitely leans a little off with a lot of people. I think this one could lean off to some people if you're really sensitive to peach. I love this one. This is really, really pretty. But again, I love peach. So that one was Smelly Cat. I've got six more. Key Lime Cookies. I think between this haul and the Teddy Bees haul that I did, I have enough key lime to last me the next like three summers. This one's creamy key lime, sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream, and graham cracker. I love lime, but I love it with bakery. I don't like a tart lime um, or too citrusy. This is so, so good. This reminds me a lot of Key Largo from Salt Mountain Melts. Um, if you've had that blend, like that type of very bakery heavy key lime, also really gives me melted mousse key lime pie as well. The bakery notes in this are perfect. Erica, if you offer this in a loaf, like a loaf size, I would buy a loaf of this. That's how amazing this one is. This is the perfect key lime scent. It's the perfect amount of bakery. It's the perfect amount of lime. It is not tart. It is sweet. And bakery. This one's a winner, you guys. This one is so good. I mean, every single one is. There's not a single thing in here I dislike, I will say, but that one is. That one's amazing. NYC Nights. You can tell it's got a little apple down in the corner. So this one is Crisp Apple, Mallow Fireside, Toasted Mallow, Pretzel, and Bakery Air. I wasn't sure what bakery air is, but I'm thinking just bakery bread type of scent. To me, this is good. They're all so good. <laughs> to me, I really get the Mac apple and I get the pretzel. The Mac apple isn't too intense. It is very crisp. It's fresh. I don't know, like you're walking past a bakery and they just made a round of pretzels and maybe there are some fresh baked bread notes wafting in the air outside of the bakery and you're walking by and you're eating an apple or something or somebody has on like an apple body care type of scent this is really really pretty like that one a lot that's gonna be probably more of like an early fall, maybe like a September scent. I love apple in September. Strawberry Beach Party. So this one is Beach Party, which is Beach Nights and Strawberry Pound Cake. Look at the little strawberry sitting on the beach chair. Are you kidding me? Again, her attention to details, you guys. Okay, I have to show you this little one. Look at the swirls. I could pop this in the warmer right now. That's how strong this is. It really is like a 50-50 mix of strawberry pound cake and beach nights. What's, what's not to love with that? That's gonna be great this summer. 
jam and cookie dough. Jammin' mixed with sugar cookie dough, and jammin' is raspberry jam and buttered toast. So again, just a raspberry jam scent. Felt like I had to have all of them because her raspberry jam is that amazing. Yeah, very strong in the raspberry jam, but I do get like bakery notes. I'm not sure if I would pick up buttered toast or sugar cookie dough, but there's definitely a bakery scent to this. I am so happy. I am so stinking happy, you guys. Okay, two more. I'm going to Paris. This one is Sweet on Paris, which is a Bath and Body Works type. Strawberry pound cake, hint of pistachio, and almond macaron. So Sweet on Paris is like a blackberry lemon body care, and then strawberry pound cake, pistachio, almond macaron. This has to be one of my favorites. This is unbelievable. If you like Sweet on Paris, you get this fruity body care scent, the blackberry, the lemon. Sweet on Paris is just such a beautiful fragrance. But what I really get from this after that is that almond macaron, that almond pastry scent. This is unbelievable. It's feminine, it's it's perfumey, but then you get that almond macaron bakery. This literally makes me feel like I'm a woman in France, in Paris. And you have your really nice perfume on. It's a little bit sweet leaning and you just you just left a French bakery and you have like your dozen macarons with you or something like that's what I get from this this is so nice I love this one that I'm gonna want more of that that's gonna be so pretty honestly right now I think now is the perfect time to melt a scent like this um, it just was poured the very end of March so I want to give it like at least a month here um, but I think I'll be melting that soon Okay, then last but certainly, certainly not least, this is How You Doing. So this one kind of scared me a little bit. Um, this was definitely more of a wild card. This is Fresh Air, Oak, Cedar, Cognac, Lemon, Vanilla, and Amber. Um, just thought it might be a little too fresh for me. The Cognac, I wasn't really sure what to think about it. But when I tell you this is dang near one of my, my top scents, this is beautiful. This is very fresh, aquatic, clean, fresh air scent. Kind of gives me shaving cream vibes a little bit. It gives me very clean man out of the shower on like a very nice spring day. It is so pretty. The lemon scared me a little bit because I'm not a lemon person. I don't get any lemon in this. It might just brighten the, the fragrance up a little bit, but it is definitely like fresh air, kind of shaving cream, man's cologne, man freshly out of the shower type scent. Okay, that is it. That is my second in Spruce February pre-order haul. I am just ecstatic. I love everything so much. Erica, thank you for sharing your amazing talent with us, your amazing wax. I just, I, can't, I cannot say enough good things. This was an amazing pre-order and I'm so excited for the next one. I would love to know if you purchased from this pre-order and if so, what are your favorites? Have you gotten your order yet? Um, yeah, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that it wasn't too noisy out here or the birds didn't drive you too nuts. Maybe you enjoyed it. Maybe you hated it, but just a change of pace. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.